next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now if the Knicks could just get their act together. They will never get their act together and I'm okay with it. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Blocks that kick to the body. That's a beautiful punch. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Well 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Oh, he heard him bad with the jab. <laughs> Circling to his right. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Got the single collar tie. Point tie plump. Under three minutes to go in round one. Nice. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just missed with that right hand. Punch is blocked. Just out of range with that strike. Leg kick. Under two minutes in round one. Look at the turtle in that kick. Let's go, guys. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Throwing with authority. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Good night if that landed. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Five minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. How good is that right hand?
fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Nice kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. Trying to establish that jab. Circling to his right. Real quick leg kick. Three minutes now to go in round two. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, huge kick! Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Out of range with that right hand. Big off the punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right hand punch the clinch. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price. And he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Well, don't get mad. Get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. With a lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Punch over the top. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, big head kick land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Cable inches right there, boy. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over.
All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Goes to the body with the knee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, massive kick lands flush. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Oh, yeah. a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Blocks the shot. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. That right hand hurt him a little oh, bit. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick land. Taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. There's no give on that leg kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, it comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Superman punches true. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Oh. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. And he caught the kick. 
So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline. Huge strike hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Back to the feet. Ooh, big shot land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard. Every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Great punch landed with so much power. Big leg kick lands. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. <laughs> Big punch land. Defensively blocks the shot. He's moving forward. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice straight punch. Under two minutes to go. Beautiful punch. Right under the elbow. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back to the feet now. All right, he oh, big knee! knee. Time. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he... Oh! And back to his feet. Slips. 
lands flush with that right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh! And then the right to close the combination. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. How about those five minutes? All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh! He's out! He got him! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Untouchable. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.